Hello? Yeah, got it, thanks. You did mention though you wanted data from only specific links? Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, let me get on to that. So in this scenario, our boss or our client wants data from our website, but only from specific links. In this case, it's gonna be categories. Now we could hard code these, but that's gonna cause us lots of issues down the line. So we're gonna use Scrapey's link extractor to only follow the links that we want to. I'm also gonna show you another use for the link extractor that you may not have thought of before. So I already have a skeleton of a Scrapey project created for this. If you don't really know what you're looking at right here, I'd recommend you go and check out my other video for Scrapey Basics, as in this one, we're really gonna focus in on just the link extractor and the crawl, crawl spider, as opposed to the rest of the Scrapey project itself. So what I've done is I've imported in crawl spider rule and link extractor from Scrapey, and I've changed my spider from spider.spider class to the crawl spider class, which works slightly different. We need to actually then change the pass function because you pass is reserved for something else within crawl spider and we need to just change the name. So what we want to do now is we're going to visit this website and I'll show you that in just a second. But let's set up our rules. We're going to need uh, a list of rules in this instance and they're going to be rule uh, link extractor like this. So let's expand these out so we can see them nice and easily and we'll start with the first one. So let's go and have a look at the page which is this one. Now what we would want to do is we would want to only visit those specific pages that in this case match the word cable. However if we look at the link you'll see that the category link is actually a number so we can't just match the text in the actual absolute URL or the URL, we need to use the restrict text within the link extractor to match the text that is within the A tag itself. Slightly different, but it's still very useful. Now in this page, there are actually only two categories that match this. However, there could be in your, tie, in your case hundreds and this would save you loads of time and also errors if you were to try to hard code these category numbers if they should change or new ones get added. So let's have a look then at what we need to do for our new link extractor rule. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do restrict text and in here we need to put in some regex that's actually going to match those uh, links that we were looking at here. So I'm going to copy this audio cables one word just for this example and we need to actually work out the regex for this. Now regex is a huge subject. I don't pretend to know a lot all about it, but I like to come to this website regex101.com, paste in the text, click Python on the left hand side. And now I wanted to actually capture the name. So I went to name capturing group. This example down here looked about what I was expecting. So I copied that in here, pasted it in here and changed the word into cable, which is what I was expecting. Now you can see that this has matched this and this will be enough for Scrapey to work. So I'm gonna copy this, go back to my code and this is gonna be the regex that we need. So we do R and we're gonna paste that in here. Now, in a lot of cases of these link extractors, you want to add in a callback function, but we don't want to do that because if we call back to our past page, which we're still yet to fill in, we won't be able to do anything else where we get there because we've already got to that function callback. So we need a, another rule that we can add so we can actually work with the rest of the pages when we get there. So I'm going to add in another rule just quickly again this is a link extractor rule and we are going to then figure out what we want to do when we get to the actual page uh, the, from the category so I opened one of them up here and you can see that we have data from all of these products and also some page numbers now notice that what is missing and this is what I mentioned at the top of the video there's no next page button which is what we commonly use in Scrapey so we can just go through all the pages to the end but we can use the link extractor for this, as I was just saying, and we can match any link on this page when we get there that matches this page is equal to two or a digit in our case. So back to our regex tester, let's paste this in here. Now this one's actually quite easy, easy page is equal to backslash D matches any digit. So now you can see this is all highlighted. We can copy this and this will match any link on this page and the other category pages because remember we're going to those first here that matches this thing here 
So it's worth noting that if you're on page one, page one isn't here, but it will be um, up here on the link. So you will get that page as well. So let's go back to our code and we'll do allow because we want to allow the links that match this regex that we just put in. Now allow, it should accept a tuple. So we need to add this in here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add in the callback that we were just talking about as pass uh, page. What this is saying is that when we get to any link that we're extracting with this rule, we're going to hit this pass page function. It's going to go to this function and we're going to do something with that data. Now, in this case, we're just going to pull out some arbitrary information from this page here. Uh, and I've just got this over here so you don't have to watch me do that because that is not really what this video is about. This video is about the link extractor. So let's paste this in here. There we go. So all we're doing is we're putting our name, SKU and price from these selectors here. It's not very complicated. So let's go ahead and try this out, see where we got to. So I'm going to do, uh, I need to CD into my directories and then we'll do scrapey crawl products. And we'll just let it run to start with. And I did an expected argument callback. And the callback needs to be outside of this here. There we go. I put it inside the link extractor. It needs to be outside. Okay, let's run. We can see it's going. We should see the different pages come by now where we are actually on the website itself. We can see the data coming through and what page we're on. We're on page one, page three, and it'll go through and get all of that information. So I'm going to stop it and I'm going to now that I know that this actually works, I'm going to do dash O for output. And I'm just going to say uh, cables.json and we will export all of this out to a JSON file and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, that's finished. Let's open up this file, close my terminal and we have somewhere in the region of uh, a few hundred, 245 products that have come from the categories here that we showed you, cables and the other one which was um, just that one there. So if you ever need to visit only specific links matching either text or anything like that from within your spider, you want to use the crawl spider and the link extractor with the specific rules to actually only visit those links and give your call back to the one at the bottom of the depth that you want to go to and then get your data out. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you're new to Scrapey, you're going to want to watch this one first before you try and do this here.